Regan Slaymaker for International Boxing News. Now, I have the pleasure to be joined by manager Igis Klimis. Igis, how are you? We're back in the UK as well. Very good. Very, light, very lovely town, very lovely country. I love London and uh, nice to be here. I'm glad. Nice to be talking to yourself as well today as well. We're at the launch press conference for Arta Betibev versus Dmitry Bilal. I mean, as someone involved in boxing, how great is it to see a fight as big as this? This is fight is very big fight, uh, big, especially a big fight for the light heavyweight division. Uh, you, you know, you're talking about the two best fighters in the division meeting each other. Uh, they have to thank to His Excellency to bringing that and to putting together. And uh, I think it's good for the sport of boxing as well. Definitely as well. Another another fight that we've got to thank yourself and His Excellency for in making you a part of it is uh, Alexander Rusik versus Tyson Fury. Obviously originally delayed. Obviously I can't imagine that was particularly helpful, but we're, we're ready to go on May the 18th. Uh, my guy is ready to go on May 18th and even before May 18th. We're excited. We're excited. We can't wait to, 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 to be in action. Definitely. Did the, obviously, you said Usyk was going to be uh, ready any time, but has the delay kind of only strengthened his pr uh, pr preparation as well? Well, you know, of course it uh, didn't help, but he, he rested, he started tracking again, because now don't forget, as a second move we did. First of all, it was December 23, and then you know, we moved to February 17th, and now we're already in May. Of course it's not helpful. No, definitely. Another fight you've got on the card is uh, Sergei Kovalev. He's back as well. I mean, excited to see Sergei back in the ring. Well, you know, he's been he's been training for the I don't know, like last year or so, and uh, we had the opportunity, and uh, we you know he's going to be facing undefeated guy, 16 and 0. Uh, this is a new division. He had only one fight in the cruiserweight, and this is going to be his second fight in the cruiserweight. Well, we're going to see what he he has. The first. The first fight he had in a cruiserweight, it was a pretty good against the Pulev. So and he and he won that fight. So I think it's uh, it's going to be an excited fight for Kovalev as well. Definitely, we're looking forward to seeing him back. Another fight you've got out soon is uh, Vasily Lomachenko against George Kambosis, uh, IBF lightweight world title on the line. Excited for Vasily to get back to world honors as well. Yeah, Vasily is also very happy to be back in the ring. Uh, we're all going to Australia. We've never been in Australia, so we will see. We will see. Definitely, definitely a fight that you're uh, confident in Vasily winning as well against George Cambosis. I was always confident with Vasily. The judges wasn't. Definitely, I, I can agree. I definitely had him beating Devin Haney as well. As well, uh, another fighter that uh, you've got in your stable is unified middleweight champion uh, Janibek Adam Kanuli as well. Was it very exciting, very exciting fighter. He's beat a few Brits as well on the on the path up as well. But kind of when can we see Janibek back in the ring? Uh, we're working on it with a promoter and uh, looks like uh, sometimes in the middle of the summer he's going to be back in the ring. Definitely. Is it a frustrating time for Janibek? I see him on uh, social media every day calling out the champions, getting reunifications. Is that kind of one thing that Janibek wants, another title on, uh, around his waist? Of course, he wants all four titles like everybody else. Uh, and uh, he's, uh, that's, 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 that's a path, that's a road where we're going. And... Uh, Hopefully, maybe with His Excellency help, uh, it can happen. Definitely, we're looking forward to it. Igis, my final question, we ask everyone this. As, uh, as someone who's been in boxing a long time, what does boxing mean to you? My life. That's perfect. Igis Clemens, thank you very much. Cheers, my friend. Thank you.